Hello guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial of mine. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to do an ambient kind of pad in Massive. That's right, an ambient pad. Who would have thought in Massive? Well, that's what we're going to do. Um, whether you like it or not, well of course if you don't like it then obviously you can just exit the video right now because that's all we're doing in this tutorial. And I'll be putting it as part of a example song as well, which won't be quite as ambient as I first hoped, but oh well. So, the first thing we want to do um, when we first start up with our massive window, as you can see, I've already saved everything. I've tweaked a lot of settings, but I've disabled them all, so you can actually see what each one does to the sound. So right now we've got that. Um, with no effects on it, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, everything's disabled. So that's what it should sound like. Um, that's a sign triangle. We also will start with the square to saw, I think it will. I think it will be the square to saw that it will start with, but I've selected the sine triangle for a soft kind of higher note. Um, but then we've also added two other oscillators. So a higher. Um, as you can see, it's been up by an octave. That's 12 notes. Um, a selected smooth square there, um, and we've had like a sub bass a sine square at the bottom of it. So it's no, it's not really a bass, but it, it's a, it can be used as a bass. You'll see with all the effects. Um, so once I selected these three, I thought, right, okay, well, you know, uh, an ambient kind of sound isn't gonna have a instant attack like that. It's going to be much more gradual and much more soft. So I immediately, um, as you can see, this is envelope 3 that I've put it to. Yours will start with envelope 4. So if we take a look at envelope 4, you'll see that I have upped the attack time. I made the level so that it looks smooth, as if it's going into the arch smooth. So however, however high you put this, the steep you have to put that. So let's move that back down a little bit. Okay, looks pretty smooth. So you, you just mess about with the um, attack time, the level of it, where that point ends up at the end, and then um, the level of the overall. Shouldn't have messed with that. The level of the overall uh, sound is peak. Let's just attach this to. There you go. So as you can see, I've got a gate here. If we just do a one shot, then it will end. I have not ended that. Or hold, it will just carry on forever. So that's why we use a gate. <sighs> Alright, press. If you ever go into hold and then it carries on, and then you go, you want to go back to gate and it's not ending, just uh, just press the same key again. Um, let's see if there's any presets in here. I don't usually use those. Never have. Um, so what we've done is we've made sure it's on gate. Um, we've increased the attack time. Uh, the level, we've just evened out with how loud we want the final, the peak of the sound to be. Which we've determined there. And also we've messed with this release. We've made the release very high. So it fades off very slowly. Um, but we want it to add to that. We want it to add to the atmospheric, you know, kind of um, sound of it. So we've added a reverb here. Very simple. Reverb. Um, and as you can see, the dry wet. And I put it quite high because I want that kind of distortion, that electronic kind of razor kind of sound. Okay. Then we've added the sync delay. Made it very wet indeed. I like that because it's a soft sound. You can't hear a clear repeat of the note like dun 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 dun. It's more of a dun. So that's why I've turned up that quite high because I, I was aware that it wouldn't be very clear. It wouldn't, you know, it would. It would need to be quite high to compensate for that. Um, yeah, and there you can see my settings there. I've made one of them eight, one of them four. This is the tempo, the the amount of time it takes to repeat. So like dun 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 or dun 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 dun, which would be four, one, two, three, four, and dun 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 dun. 
yeah, you get the picture, the left and the right. That has for a more kind of stuttered kind of echo, which I like. It's more, um, it has more atmosphere to it. I'll show you, well, I'll show you in some of the tutorials how cool that can be. And then we've just messed with the EQ. We've just boosted the low shelf, the bass, by a small amount, and turned down the high shelf just a tidge. And uh, maybe that was just me messing about and trying to reset it. I'm not sure, but it seems to work well. Now, we further <clears throat> changed the sound of the sound wave by going on the sample and hold, put it on max. Really makes it a bit harsher because even though it is soft, it's meant to be like a quite a powerful thing. It's a robotic angel, as you can, as you can see, I've called it. And also a high pass, low pass filter, which you might not be able to. Yeah, yeah these are at max each end, but they can be useful. Uh, I put that on just to experiment, not really necessarily there. Um, for some other kind of acoustics to add to it to make it sound more cool really that is some noise high metallic so it's more atmosphere to it now and some feedback which is very subtle so I'm not sure how it's sounding for you right now it's actually clipping a little bit for me that should be okay um, but yeah, the bass in it is quite nice, um, maybe too high for some devices, as my friends have been telling me lately, but for me it, it sounds awesome and epic. Um, so that's what we've got so far, but we wanted to make it evolve as well. And so to make it evolve, what we're going to do is we're going to use some LFOs. Um, so we've got the five LFO here set to every four, you know, it'll take four beats for the... Um, the LFO wave to complete. So we've synced it up immediately. That means you don't have to mess with this rate. You can just know exactly when it's going to repeat. And restart just means when you press a new note, the wave gets restarted, which is better for performance. No, it's better for um, when you're recording, but for performance, if you're not very accurate with your notes, it might sound a bit weird. So you, you turn that off so it just continues. I'll just demonstrate with, with the LFO on. So it's starting the wave again. It's hard to explain with something like this, but it it basically means that you know you can't screw up, say with a pattern. If you got it on the stepper, then if you select it uh, not to restart, then it'll just continue the pattern. It won't seem to jutter. Um, but both of those are on, so we're going to keep them like that. So this is just a very basic curve. And as you can see, I mean, some of you may not have seen my massive tutorials. If you haven't, go here. But if you have, then you know that all you have to do is drag this, just click this arrow and direct it onto there, like that. And then just click the five and drag up and down to select how much it affects the, um, the cutoff. So that's the bottom point and that's the peak. Well, they're both peaks, but yeah. For example, that's the bottom point and then at the peak it'll be there, which would be the other side. And the middle is, of course, that part, um, which which makes it evolve. That's just a low pass four there, and we've got a second filter here, which is scream, quite high resonance and a bit of scream there. Done the same with six, but we haven't made it too dramatic because it was quite dramatic. You know, we've we've set the cutoff to be. The difference between the low and the high to be quite low and with the only difference between these two different ones and why it might sound not completely in sync with all different changes is because we've set the ratio to two to one which means every two beats that repeats whereas every four beats that repeats i think it's bars actually my mistake um as you can see i have tinkered with the position of these so they're not very precise anymore which is a great shame um That looks pretty good. Probably not the answer um, I should be giving, but yeah. <laughs> that looks about right. <laughs> so, that's how we've designed this sound. Have we got any external... Yeah, we do have some 
Do I have any? No, we don't. We don't have any effects on it. Okay, that's good. That would have been kind of embarrassing if I put loads of effects from the mixer in it, and you're like, why doesn't it sound the same? But no, completely clear the mixer. No external reverb. No um, parametric EQ. Nothing like that. So this is why I like Massive. It can be kind of a can be kind of diverse. Let's try some of the high notes. Pretty nice. So, all that's left to do now is think of a name for your, um, custom made massive preset that's right no longer rely on those presets that come with it why why be original come on what's left is to think of a name for that set your attributes i've set it to soundscapes electric could be digital whatever um set the timbre to warm and metallic at the same time that's right warm metal problem set the articulation to slow attack long release long and evolving and tempo synced because we've synced it as you saw before and the genre is film music, just because uh, it's it's the most fitting one. Here, I should should have saved my name, but okay. Um, come blah 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 blah. Bank name, FK me. <laughs> that is just something I just came off, came up with. Um, might be the name of my massive bank when I release it. If I do, if anyone wants it, um. So yeah, uh, oh, one more thing, don't forget to compensate if you're going to boost your bass. You might want to... Uh... That is turned down really low, actually. Even with all those notes, it... I don't know why it's clipping before. It's very weird. But anyway... Um, yeah, don't forget to compensate with your master. You don't want it clipping in the red there. It's not very nice. Um, but yeah, so you set your attributes. Uh, there's nothing really I want to edit over time with this, like there is with LFOs and stuff. So there's no macros I'm going to assign. It's pretty much done. I like it. Um, and yeah, so you just go ahead and save as. Save it where you want to save it. Um, and these are all my presets that I've been building up slowly over time. There's different versions of them. Because, uh, yeah, I like different things about them. Altered them slightly. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Let me know if it helped you out. Let me know if you want any more. Any different styles of instruments or sounds that you want me to try and create in Massive. I will. I will be doing more of these anyway. Because I thought it would be quite useful. Um, but apart from that, guys. I just want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or in a personal message, and I will answer them as quickly and as well as I can. Until next time, talk to you guys later.